Hello again, my name is Ben, here I am today with another mock showcase, here I mean, this time is this custom Lego hover tank I built. Um, I haven't really had like, an official like, technical sort of name for it, it's kind of like supposed to be Star Wars-y, but I do have this nickname I call it for, it. I call it the Jaguar, because of the little bits of yellow. Uh, it's not the best, but it's, it's whatever. But here it is, I don't really have much story for it, it's like, what I have is that it's some type of repurposed like, um, air speeder. I was repurposed into like a tank for the rebels, so I guess it flies a little bit scrappy. I feel like I do a lot of these like um, worn and replaced sort of builds because I feel like the theming really works for these type of builds. But whatever. Uh, besides comparison with the minifigure, uh, you know, here he is. Here it is. It's not the biggest build. Um, quite small as at most. I feel like most other Star Wars hover tanks, like the Imperial hover tank and uh, the Republic fighter tank. So I feel it's like, you know, sort of similar in those sort of builds. So here it is. You could look around. Just really not the biggest thing. But with all that said, uh, starting off the build, starting off the front, you can see a lot of these like larger um, sloping sort of pieces in the light gray. I took a lot of these pieces from specifically from the Naboo Starfighter. So yeah, that's why I got a lot of the yellow from. Um, so just building up here, you can see on the inner side, just some of the winglets, and I just took a lot of these pieces from the set. These, like, under-inverted, like, sort of sloping pieces, which I use, like, a lot in the holes for boats. But, moving upwards here, you'll see some sloping here, some more slopes, some more bricks, and these parts here. Stud shooters are attached with these simple, um, one-by-one, -one, uh, bricks with, like, the hole on the back. They don't look the best since they're in black, but I don't have any gray ones currently in the use. So I use the black ones, and it is a little bit hard to actually get the studs to fire, but it works. But more of the building here, you see just more some, some, bleh, some more slopes and some other, mostly, those are the sides are built with these large plates, and you'll see a little bit more of these sloping here. The sides here, you see a lot more slopes, like using slopes in my locks for smoothing. Just small, bleh, some small winglets and yellow, some more smaller plates, which come off easily. My bad. It's just a yellow 2x4. I'll explain these parts in a bit. Sorry. Some turrets on the side, which are pretty similar to the ones I used on my heavy scout walker. But here they are. You can just move all around. So, yeah. Pretty simply designed. Just some cylinders and a simple pin. Uh, here's the main like cockpit area, covered with this larger, um, I guess, sloping piece. I really don't know what to call it. But, you see it's attached on a hinge and can move up pretty easily. Oops. Uh, inside, you probably can't get the best look. Here, I'll try and move up all these flaps because they're all attached on hinges. So, yeah. Let's see if you can get the best look in there. It's really not much. There's a chair. Maybe you can see a, some control panels, a button, and just some other trans pieces in there. Really not that much. Uh, but, you know, it can fit a figure pretty simply. Um, the back here, you see just some more um, winglet pieces, some gray and some yellow. The larger one here is the main base of the sides. And just some small detailing with the tiles and the grills. Uh, the back here, there's really not much, just this part. There's just some more slopes, just built on one of these bricks. The back here is a mix of, it's supposed to be for cargo and for like, can holding troops. So I'll just put him here, just show, you know, can't fit him. And there's just a small flap here to protect the little bits of cargo which you can see in the back. There's some simple crates. So, yeah. Also on the sides, you'll see here some um, 2 by 4s They're just for simple troop transporting. You know, the troop can just sit there. It was just something I wanted to do. Um, the main gun here is pretty simple to design. It's just a stud shooter with a lot more bits on it. Like just some Technic pieces, a bar to connect it to it. Just focus. I guess it's the best it's gonna do. But there it is, you know, pretty simply designed. It still works like a stud shooter. But it's not really supposed to. I already went under the underside, but you can just see how these little parts here are attached. There's a lot of un inverted slopes in, in the sort here. And you can just see the basic um, base plates it's built on. So pretty simply designed. But uh, I feel like that's kind of it for it. Oh, whoops. And some of these um, pieces here are just attached looser than others. 
Um, but yeah, that's a bit it for it. Or it's kind of it for it. I really don't know much to say about it. It's just a small little tank I built cause, that I that I really like. It's not really maybe one of my better builds, but I mean, I still like it. Um, and there's like tanks and I like to build like sort of Star Wars Z tanks. So yeah, it's kind of it for it. But I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you're looking forward to the next video next week. Yada yada. Don't really have my plans moving forward. Just uh, same as always. Still sort of in a bit of, in a bit of a creative um, stress panic. I don't know. Like I don't really know what to build and how to do it. So that's a bit of a issue. But I mean, I've been doing fine so far with the builds I have been showing off. So I hope it isn't that bad. Also, uh, quarantine's been kind of getting to me. Jesus, not being in school hasn't been the best. But uh, with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're looking forward to next week. And uh, with that being said, um, just put them here. Whoops. Oh, well. Goodbye.